Ohio, uh, we rely on juries, and 12 jurors found that death was not appropriate in this case. We respect that and honor that decision. And uh, the magnitude of this case, the seriousness with two people dead, the sentence had to be decided by a jury. I think they gave their time, and their uh, service clearly indicates that they thought long and hard about that. We certainly appreciate and respect their verdict. So, you know, we, we definitely don't want him to be on the outside. Um, we're a little conflicted with the verdict. Um, you know, the jury did what they were supposed to do, but they were not given the truth of um, the whole family dynamics. Um, the defense, in our opinion, spun a web of lies. Um, they didn't contact the family. So um, the jury was not given the truth. So whenever they talk about sexual abuse that he may have suffered, you're saying that's not true? Um, as far as we're concerned, no. Again, you don't know what happens behind closed doors. Um, but, you know, we didn't know that any of that happened. Um, as far as them talking about how Fran was with Lewis, none of that was true. Are you satisfied with the life in prison? Would you have preferred to see the death happen? Uh, I, I believe that I would have, um, and several family members would have, yes. Um, it was a brutal, brutal murder, both of them. Um, you know, we all saw the pictures, the coroner's pictures. Um, you know, we know what he did afterwards. He, he said that he was remorseful, that he regretted. He never apologized to anybody. Um, we saw the pictures. We, we saw what he did 36 minutes after the murders took place. We saw his actions. We saw the confession tape. We heard the lies, all of the lies. Um, I think the story tells itself. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Do you feel like a more serious penalty?